Hello artists, this is Miss Potts and today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome frog sculpture for our third grade frog showcase. The first thing we're going to do is start making our frog's eyes and we're going to need these half marbles, it doesn't matter what color, we need two pieces of paper that are ripped just a little bit bigger than those marbles, a tiny little bit of clay, paint pens in whatever color you're going to do the frog's eyes, and patience. So I ripped that piece of paper to be just a little bit bigger than the marble and then I'm taking a little piece of clay and sticking it to the paper so that I can stick that marble to the paper. When I'm coloring my frog eyes, if I touch where I put the paint pen, it'll rub right off. So I'm going to use that little piece of paper as kind of like a tray to hold the marble still while I blend orange and red together to create my frog's eyes. Notice how I did uh, orange on the inside and then red around the outside, just blending them just a little bit. Go ahead and put those over to the side so that they can dry for just a second while we create our frog's body. For this, we're gonna need some tin foil, and I'm going to bunch it up into almost the shape of an avocado for the frog's middle and the frog's head. I used two pieces and you can just shape it until you get the shape that you're looking for. And now since the eyes have dried, we're just going to use a Sharpie to make the pupils. For mine, I just did this black line pretty much straight down the frog eyes. You can do a circle or a football shape on those frog eyes. It's totally up to you. Now we're going to attach the eyes to our little tinfoil avocado using the clay that we had stuck the eyeballs to. I'm just going to take it off the paper, stick it on either side of where I'm going to have the frog's head, and then stick the marble to that. You want to stick it really good so it doesn't fall off. And then I'm going to take my package of air dry clay and I'm going to start ripping off uh, small pieces pinching it with my fingers to flatten it out just a little bit and then I'm going to start wrapping that tin foil frog with the air dry clay almost like a little blanket that I'm tucking it in with and so I'm just going to keep taking little pieces and when those pieces match up on the sides I just kind of pinch and use my fingers to smooth that air dry clay so that it connects to the other piece. You want to go ahead and cover your whole entire little frog avocado, being very careful not to knock those eyeballs off. When you add the clay around the eyes, try to go over the edges of the eyeballs just a little bit so that when that air dry clay dries, it'll hold those eyeballs in place. And I didn't realize I had spilled a little bit of my paint pen there, so I've got a red frog accidentally. Oops, it's okay. We make a mistake. We make it work. To complete the eyes, I'm going to pull off just a little tiny bit of clay and roll it into a skinny little clay worm and just pull off just a little bit. And again, I'm going to kind of put that over those marble eyeballs just a little bit, just over the edge. I'm going to do that on the top and on the bottom of each eyeball. And that'll give you those really nice frog looking eyelids. You can also use this technique to make a frog mouth if you want to. Now we need to make the frog arms and legs, but they're not actually called arms, they're called front limbs. I'm gonna roll a piece of clay into this thick worm, and then whenever I make my front limbs and my back limbs, I wanna make sure I cut my pieces the same size before I start attaching it. It makes it a lot easier for you to measure before you attach. And you'll notice there I cut two little slits to create the frog digits or toes. And then once I have a shape that I like, I just go ahead and smush it right onto the side of the frog. It's really that easy. Now here I realized that the weight of the frog body was way too heavy for that little arm to actually hold it up before it's dry. And so I went and got a spoon for my frog to sit on. You might want to find something for your frog to sit on while it dries and while you connect its front limbs to the body. And here I have my other frog arm. I just wanted to give you another angle so that you could see. I've cut two slits and there I am 
making the frog digits. I'm just pulling and pinching until I get a shape that I like. And now we need to make our frog's legs. And did y'all know that frog legs are actually eaten in many different countries? They're low calorie and a great source of protein. And here I am rolling out a really long worm of clay, and that's going to be my frog leg. Our frog legs are much, much, much longer than our frog's front limbs. Make sure you measure out two even legs before you attach it to the frog, because it's much easier to measure before you attach. Here I've got the right length. I'm going to go ahead and smush it to the back of the frog. And then one trick while we're bending the frog legs back towards the body is to cut out this little pizza slice behind what the frog's knee would be. Once we get that little slice of clay out of the way, it's much easier to fold it back. Go ahead and cut two slits to make your frog toes or digits and pinch and pull until you get a shape that you like. Then go ahead and repeat that process for the other leg and notice how my frog is still sitting on top of that spoon because the arms still aren't dry yet and he can't hold himself up it's fine i've got my digits i sort out the shape now i'm going to take a small pinch of clay and roll it into a ball and smush it to the end of each one of my frog's digits to create the toe pads when you're done with that go back smooth out any parts of your frog that are a little bit bumpy once it dries, you will not be able to go back and change anything about the shape. So you wanna make sure it's perfect before you let it dry. Then it's time to paint. Everybody's frogs are different, so your painting is probably gonna be different from somebody else's. I just want you to remember a few things. One, be very careful when you're painting to not get paint on those eyeballs because it'll be really, really hard to get it off. You'll probably ruin the eyeball that you painted. Two, when you're painting, we're probably gonna use acrylic paint, which will stain your clothes. So be very careful and make sure you wear smocks or old clothes that day so you don't get paint on you. Three, if acrylic paint dries on my paintbrushes, it will ruin the paintbrush. So make sure you clean them really, really, really good with water and dry it off before you go to get your next color. If you remember, we say paint wet, brush dry. This paint is wet, so your brush should be dry anytime you go to dip into the paint. Once the top of your frog dries, don't forget to take the time to paint the bottom of your frog. You might have to do this on two different days. And that's pretty much it. If you make a mistake, make it work. Be patient, and I know you can do it. Good luck, everybody.